Every time we do a prayer, like our Tuesday prayer and meditation, I will often instruct you as the reader of that prayer to rest in the silence of God. And there is where the power comes. It's more important than the words that I write or that positive Christianity sends to you. Resting in the presence of God and in the silent moment you hear God's voice in between the written word. You have a a feeling, you have a new energy, you have a healing that comes through you. Isaiah 41 verse 1 says, Be silent before me. The world, it is filled with noise. And I believe, being the age I am, it's getting noisier and noisier. Might we set ourselves a time to just sit in the silence, in stillness, and in solitude? And therefore, with eyes closed, reconnect with God. A good way to know God is to be still and to listen. Sometimes you may find it very hard to slow down and to listen. As many demands, many distractions come in everyday life, and call out to you, sometimes by name. It's so easy to get so wrapped up in the obligations that you just don't take enough time to spend sitting in the silence, communing with God. But if you'll take the time and the effort to quiet yourself each day and listen for God's still, small voice, you will be rewarded. You'll experience God's presence. You'll be surrounded in God's love. And if you will wait for God, God will touch your heart, and God will restore your spirit. God will give you a perspective that you need to make good decisions about all those other things that are clamoring for your attention. So why not Go to God right now. Why not, as this ends, sit in the silence of prayer? Even if you do this for 60 seconds, it will change you. It will change your hour. If you really want to know God, silence is a wonderful place to start.